In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8 to 9. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8 to 9. The Bible says, Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be conscious, not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but countrywise blessing, knowing that ye are dear to God, that you should inherit a blessing. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 19. Colossians chapter 3, verse 19. The Bible says, Husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter against them. Husband, love your wife, and be not bitter against them. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. I receive the wisdom of God in my marriage. In the name of Jesus, I receive the wisdom of God in my marriage. In the name of Jesus, I receive the wisdom of God in my marriage. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. We are looking at a topic, what to do when in marital crisis. What to do when in marital crisis. Love is the source of every marriage. When there's no love, when there's no commitment, when there's no understanding, when there's no tolerance, that marriage or relationship may so collapse very soon. Marriage is instituted by God. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed and endured. In marriage, two people are involved, coming together with different background, different interests, and different perspectives. Marital crisis is very common in most marriages today. It can sometimes be very frustrating when you try to resolve issues in your marriage, but your partner is making things worse by day in that marriage. It appears that there's no way out to the crisis in your marriage. You have prayed no way. You have discussed with your friends and family to get advice but the advice is not working out in your marriage. The causes of marital crisis today can vary. It is important to know the cause of your marital crisis before finding the lasting solution to it. If you are the cause of the marital problems, then you need to apologize to your partner and resolve the issue. But if your partner is the cause of the problem in that marriage, you and your partner have to find ways to stop the crisis in your marriage. The Bible says, husband, love your wives. Also, wives, submit and respect your husband. When there's no love, when there's no submission, when there's no understanding, the foundation of that marriage will collapse naturally. When there's no love, there's no relationship, there's no intimacy in that marriage, it will collapse. There are many marriages today. Little things can crumble, can scatter the marriage, can divide the marriage. For example, common two peace can cause separation in marriage. Common to peace can bring about division or divorce in a marriage. What to do as a child of God when you are in crisis? The Bible says love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not have the feeling of pride. Love, love is a good spirit, you know, that, that, that transmits to every other people. So when you have love and your partner does not have that spirit of love, there will be a problem. So what do you do? What are the way out to every marital crisis? The method your brother or your sister did to make sure that you resolve its marital crisis, it's possible it may not be the method you are going to use in your marriage. One plus one in marriage is one. The formula your friends use to solve marital crisis may not be the formula you are going to use to solve your own marital crisis. So we, as a child of God, we normally have a template. We normally have a template in which those templates, once those templates are really done with faith, then it will come to pass. We are going to tell the simple steps you are going to take to restore the peace of your marriage. Number one, you need to cry out to God. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. Sought the Lord, and the Lord shall deliver you from your fears. Cry out to God. What to do in marital crisis? The first thing you need to do, you need to cry out to God. Pray to God. Father, I'm in a problem. Father, I'm currently in trouble. I need your help. I need your revelation. I need your guidance. What do you want me to do in this marital crisis? Lord, many things are coming to me. Many suggestions are coming to me. Many advices are coming to you, to me. Some people are saying I should leave. Some people say I should separate. Some people say I should divorce. Father, speak to me. Cry out to God for mercy. Speak to God. Speak to God. Cry out to him. Pray. God, show me the way out of this marital crisis, this trouble. Because the marital crisis, whether you like it or not, is beyond you. 
You can't control it. You try all your best to making sure you resolve peace in your marriage. Even your partner is, is against it. You have to cry to God. If you know that God is the one that brought both of you together, cry out to him. Pray, God, I want you to give me wisdom. The wisdom of God to bring peace, to bring joy, to restore happiness in my marriage. Cry out to God. Serve the Lord. Seek the Lord. And he will deliver you from all your fears. The Bible says, Call unto me, hold that labor, and I will give you rest. Cry out to him and let God give you rest so that those troubles in your mind can go away. Because if you do not cry out to God, but you are crying out to men, to people, relationship experts, marital counseling before God, you may end up getting the wrong advice. The first thing you need to do, you need to go to one place or go to a prayer camp or, or go to a mountain to go and cry to God. Concerning your marital issue, I believe that God will show you the way out in Jesus' name. Number two signs that you need to do when you are in a marital crisis is after you might have cried to God, you did not get any response from God, then you seek advices from people. You seek advices from people, not just random people, not just people that are available, good people, trusted people, people that you can, you know, you can, you can confide in, in, people that you can confide in, people that cannot share you know, your story with, with another people. Trusted people, it could be your pastor, it could be your family members, it could be anybody that is mature. Share your marital crisis with them. I'm sure they will be in the best position to advise you correctly. Do you understand? Sometimes it's not always advisable to go and meet your friend when you are in a marital crisis. Because someday or someday you and your friend may have issue. It's better you meet somebody that is very neutral. Maybe your pastor, someone that is very far to... Somebody that is very far from you. Share, pour out your mind to that person. It could be a relationship expert from TV or on the radio. Just share your problem with them. I'm sure they'll be in the right position, you know, to guide you because they've already experienced what you are experiencing now. So they will, they will probably give you what actually will work for them, the near solution to the problems of your marriage. So seek advices from trusted or from professional people. So they'll be in the one... They will be in the way to guide you so that you can restore peace in your home. Number three, you need to read the word of God. Read the word of God. You need to read the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Study the word of God. You can go on the internet. You can just type on the internet Bible verses when in marital crisis. You will read a lot of Bible verses. That will, after reading the Bible verses, it will give you wisdom. It will give you the next thing to do. Do you understand? If you are the one you want to, you are filing for divorce, if you are the one you want to separate from your husband, you want to separate from your wife, read the word of God. Minister, let the word of God minister to your face before taking any decision. I believe that after reading the word of God, after meditating on it, I believe that the spirit of the Lord will speak to you through some verses or through a verse. So meditate, embrace the word of God. Don't be far away from, don't, be, don't say that I know, I have read from Genesis to Revelation. No, that's not, to, that's not, that's not the read, word, reading the word of God. Reading the word of God, just open the Bible verse and dwell. Ponder on it. Ponder on it. On marital issues. Ponder on it. Because God will be there to strengthen you. To help you. Because he knows that you're already in trouble. So he wants you, he wants you the, the Holy Spirit wants you to search him in the word. So that you can find him. The Holy Spirit is waiting for you in the word of God. Why can't you search the word of God? And see the Holy Spirit. And see the word the Holy Spirit has kept for you. So read the word of God. Meditate on it. Meditate on the word of God. And through that word of God, revelation, knowledge, wisdom will be ministered to you in Jesus' name. Number four things you need to do when in marital crisis, you need to calm down. Calm down. Take things easy. Calm down. You are not the first to have marital issue. And you will not be the last to have marital issue. So you need to calm down. You don't need to be you don't need to be jumping from one place. Marital issue. Look at what my wife did. Look at what my husband did. You are just ah, you are just anger. Let me tell you. Anything you start with anger, it will always end in shame. Write it somewhere. Anything you start with anger, it will end in shame. Take things easy. Be patient. When the others are ah, I will do this out. Just be patient. Don't calm down. Take things easy. Don't be in rush because when you are in rush, 
Many ideas will come to you. What like the ideas like what your friend told you, share with you. Ah, no, ah, how could my wife, how could my husband talk to me anyhow? Does he know that uh, 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 I'm more bigger than him or her or something? No, just calm down. Through your coming down, the spirit of the Lord will minister to you. Take things easy. Don't rush. And from there, you will gain many mysteries from the Lord. Number five, lastly, talk to your partner and communicate Israel's thoughts. Talk to your partner and communicate Israel's thoughts. They say that two wrongs cannot make it right. One must submit to one another and apologize. If you know you are, you are the cause of the problem, the crisis in your marriage, you have to bring down your pride and ego and apologize. And if you know that it's your partner that's at fault and he does not want to apologize, you as a child of God, apologize first and let peace reign. You don't have to say, ah, no, 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 it's not, I'm not the, I'm not the fault. So he should be the one to apologize first. Communicate his fault. My husband, these are your faults. These are what you did. And, you, you are, and your husband and your wife will, will share with you that these are your faults. I want you to change. I don't like your weaknesses. I don't like some of the things you do. Communicate. Apologize. Apologize. Submit. And, 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 and tell him or her that such thing will never happen again. Those are the ways to stop issues in marriage. If both of you are mature enough, mentally stable, I'm sure that your partner will understand you. And tell your partner that anything I'm doing that you feel is not good, quickly correct me. Correct me. Communicate my thought to me. I may not know when I'm doing it, but communicate to me. Instead of you keeping quiet and making your own decision within your mind, no. If you want your marriage to be fruitful, to be peaceful, successful, communicate your thought. Your weakness, communicate what he or she likes and what he or she did not like. Communicate. And from there... The marriage will blossom and the problem will go away. I pray may the Lord Almighty restore peace in your marriage today in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh God of restoration, restore peace in my marriage today in the name of Jesus. O oh God of restoration, restore peace in my marriage today in the name of Jesus. O oh God of restoration, restore peace in my marriage today. Restore peace in my marriage today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, every spirit of conflict between me and my partner, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of conflict, every spirit of strife, every spirit of pride in my marriage, cast fire, scatter, cast fire, scatter, scatter, cast fire. Every spirit of conflict between me and my partner, every spirit of strife, Every spirit of pride, every spirit of envy, every spirit of wickedness between me and my partner, scatter and cast fire, scatter and cast fire, scatter and cast fire, scatter and cast fire. In Jesus' name. Say, O oh Lord, give us wisdom to resolve our marital crisis. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, give us wisdom to resolve our marital crisis. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, give us wisdom. To resolve our marital crisis in the name of Jesus. Oh God, give us wisdom to resolve our marital crisis. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. No matter the problem you are passing through in your marriage, seek the face of the Lord. Seek advices from people and communicate their thoughts to them. And with this, your marriage shall experience the peace and the presence of God in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, Share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. God bless you.